This video was filmed at a Royal Air Force active firing range. The area we are going to concentrate on is used by reconnaissance air crews who fly over the enemy airfield, photographing the aircraft and stores. Nearby is an electronic warfare site operated by the Royal Air Force, where they try to detect the aircraft flying in to photograph the enemy training airfield. Hello and welcome to ALW Research Team. Today we're in Cumbria and we've come to a dummy airfield that's used for recognition training and there's uh, some Cold War aircraft. Hey, you doing, Henry? Uh, return your previous frequency, please. Getting the, uh, getting the gear ready and we're going to go over there because over there there's an airfield, a dummy airfield and it's got a Sukhoi 22 M4 from the Czech Air Force, some Dassault Mysteries from the French Air Force, a Mil MI-24 helicopter, which is an attack helicopter, and there's some Lockheed TT3 shooting stars, all in an airfield over there. Uh, they're all just parts up and left. There's also a ZSU-23-4 anti-aircraft mobile gun with a radar on it, so we're going to go check it all out. Let's go. Hi viewers. So we're in the forest now, making our way to the dummy runway. It's quite thick foliage and very boggy ground, but we're well on our way now. So we'll see you there. We're just coming out of the tree line now, and you'll see in front of us, that is a Dassault mystery. Designed and built in France by the Dassault Aviation Company, 171 examples of the Mystery were built, primarily used by the French Air Force. The Mystery was first flown in 1951 and it was withdrawn in 1963. So viewers, I've got Lockheed TT3 shooting stars there and these are Dassault Dassault Mysteries. But that thing on the horizon there, I think that's an observation post. Those aircraft are quite old. There was still some flying, but I think they're just demonstrators now. They used to use them for training. This here. The weather on the morning of our explore was misty and raining. Apologies for the water on the lens and the wiping of the lens cover. But keep watching because the weather improves and we find some really interesting artefacts on this explore. And this one's called Shag Do Shaggy Dog. Marcher, knee pass. So, knee pass, marcher. So, does that mean don't stand on here? Yes. No standing on the wing. Yeah, so it's the 8M, 8M1. And there would have been, just behind Dave there, that roundel there that's faded. That's the uh, French Air Force um, roundel. And then there would have been another squadron flag on the back there that's been removed. You can see at some point this has been damaged on the ground, been hit by something. And turn the f-stop down a bit so it's a little dark but we've got another Dassault mystery over there I'm gonna Dave's just having a look at that observation post through his binoculars we've got the uh, engine end There's actually still an engine in this. Can you see that, viewers? We're now approaching a trio of Lockheed TT3s. These were nicknamed Shooting Stars. First flown in March 1948, they were primarily used by the United States Air Force and they were a training aircraft. 6,557 examples of the TT3 were produced between 1948 
1959. The Bolivian Air Force were the last Air Force to use the Lockheed TT-3. They were retired on the 31st of July 2017. Oh, of the Lockheed TT-3 there. Can you see down there viewers? It's still got a uh, sort of uh, oily smell to it. I'll just show you in the cockpit. Don't know what will be left of it. got some uh, rescue see some of the rescue um, languages in English first and then looks like French below it and that is a Lockheed TT3 the most distinguishable part on the Lockheed TT3 showing its vintage heritage is the vertical stabilizer shown here sometimes known as the rudder, the rounded top and the flared forward section of the vertical stabiliser really shows the heritage era that this aircraft was designed in. These were what is. Now, can anyone tell me what Air Force this was? That's a star that's been painted over and it's black, amber and then red and the red is a star. Uh, Dave, there's something just over there. I don't know if it's a rapier battery. Just over that mound. I think that's that gun. I think that's that gun. Yeah, that is a ZSU 23-4. Radar controlled anti-aircraft gun. Just over there. What we don't want is them two getting lost. Yeah, we've got a couple of civvies with us. Um, but yeah, we're going to go look at the. Uh, we're going to look at the other Lockheed TT3s. Just going to show you in the cockpit here. Pretty stripped out. Um, someone's left some chicken kebabs in there. Now, all the markings are in English in this cockpit so this was a I don't know what Air Force used this but all the markings are in English vehicle I had a vehicle then they're not actually very big these aircraft are they for a two seater nope. um, all the TT3s I've seen photographs of uh, have got like fuel tanks on the wingtips, but these haven't, so these are very old. They're a very old aircraft. Is that a refueling point? Could very well be, yeah, it looks like it, yes. Um, well, that's also. You don't even have the facility for mounting on the wingtips. No, there's no there's pylons. No. These are just a trainer. These were used from to go from propeller aircraft to fast jets. Oh yes, here look. Here's the mountings for the wingtip fuel tanks. So there are mountings for wingtip fuel tanks on them. These are the hoses for the fuel. Hose couplings. There's the hose couplings. Yes. And they're the mountings. They're the mountings, so there these did there. have. And there, that's this is yeah. what this catch is for. Solid mount, yeah. So they did have wingtip fuel tanks. I thought they did. All the pictures I've seen, every single one, they want a single one without wingtip fuel tanks. This one's lost, looks like it's lost its starboard wing or its starboard undercarriage. Dave, what are those in the grass? No, there's man made things in the grass. That coat can. If you come to these places, yeah, yeah. distracted by the discarded litter, 
I have seen what we believe is a PIR proximity alarm sensor system which could alert security officials that we are here at this airfield. That time you've got any near that it's too late. Yeah, there's something there, something there and something over there in the grass. So this Lockheed, there's a heat shield there from the engine in there and the starboard undercarriage is missing on this one do we go over that mound to the yep. zsu yep. the zsu 23-4 is a lightly armored soviet self-propelled radar guided anti-aircraft weapon system it has a crew of four and is powered by a v6 20 liter diesel engine First coming into service in 1960, it is currently still in use by the following countries. Russia, Iran, India, Poland, the Ukraine and the Netherlands. Let's see the windows, that was the driver's view. Yes, this was a Soviet anti-aircraft gun, mobile anti-aircraft gun. As that is the radar for it and there's various ammo um, that's the cooling for the engine cooling flap uh, an exhaust there and then it's just a mobile anti-aircraft gun it's got a British Army number plate on it but I think that's just simply to move it on the road so the road registered it can you imagine ringing the DVLA up and oh, I've got a ZSU 23-4 and uh, I want to get it on the road. Um, I've just still seen a, a Mil MI 24 over there in the distance. Uh, and that is a Russian um, attack helicopter. Can you see it? Attack helicopter. And I've just heard some noises from over there. I've heard some noises from over there. So, where we're going next, helicopter. And helicopter. Then I think, and then I think that weighs his way out. Helicopter and get, get the funk out get of out it, yeah. Because, yeah. Yeah, so that is the ZSU 23-4, which denotes four 23mm guns on the front. Whilst moving towards the Mil Mi 24 ground attack it's helicopter, Sukhoi. I looked back and I noticed a Sukhoi SU 22 no. M4, no. which is a fighter bomber aircraft looks like from the Soviet stuff. Union. This is something that I very that much like wanted to film and photograph. So we had a vote: do we go back? What do we to do the we, aircraft we at the other end of the tree to, line just go do it. or do we go to we'll the mil mi-24 ground attack helicopter right we, we decided to, to go to the we'll sukhoi and, and, the, and the lorries and stuff because there's aircraft and lorries over it there. is worthy of note that this dummy the airfield way. is still in use by the royal air force it is not a public area and we needed to be in and out before being detected. Do it, let's go. Keep close to that tree line. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh wow. There's a lot, I can see a lot of tail fins there. There's a lot of aircraft. Some of the kit on here looks quite modern. It's uh, just discarded in the grass there. There's an old ammunition box. Got a makeshift turning pan for aircraft. 
Scotland here. Look at this viewers. Got Dassault Mysteries. We've got a Leyland Daff refueling truck. Got various drop tanks. Some of them look like they've not been here for very long at all. Uh, on the back here, on the back of this truck, that's actually an earthing point. So you can earth the truck and then you can earth the aircraft to the truck. So you don't get any sparks when you go to refuel them. That is a refueling truck, Leyland Daft. That, that is quite a modern drop tank. External fuel tank, that's very new. 9th of the 1st, 98. That's never been there since 98. Uh, the Fleming, that's come from. Yeah, wow. Well. Um, so that's probably when it was, that's the service label so that when it were last checked for being serviceable by the looks of it there's a NATO stock number part number has that seriously been here since 1998 because it looks intact unless someone's unwrapped that it was probably wrapped up like them yeah because it's got desiccant in it yeah, it has this has been recently unwrapped by someone and I don't know who unless they've unwrapped them to sort of change the picture maybe so we've got a uh, that's a Dassault Mystery. In fact, these were all Dassault Mysteries of the French Air Force. Staggering. Absolutely staggering to see these in real life. are quite damaged. They look like you need an external ladder to climb up to them. They don't have little footholds to climb up. Um, I will show you in the cockpit this one. That is a Dassault mystery. Uh, Dassault still make aircraft. Um, I s recently saw flying over my house some Dassault Rafale M of the French. Uh, they call it the Marine, which is their fleet air arm, their naval air force. One Dassault mystery. These are just staggering to look at. Just staggering. Here, this is a Sukhoi 22, and this is the M4 model. Quite a modern aircraft compared to the Lockheed TT3s and the Dassault Mysteries. I believe. This exact aircraft was pictured in 2017 at the Fairford Air Show. And then looks like the uh, 
Royal Air Force has bought it and they've put it here. So we'll just look up the fuselage. Usually fitted with the Lyoka AL21 turbojet engine, this export model of the SU-17 series was fitted with an afterburner equipped Tomansky R29 BS300 quoted as the Soviet third generation series of turbojet engines capable of producing 25,360 pounds foot of thrust with the boosted afterburner. The engine in this SU-22 has been removed and was likely sent for testing and evaluation purposes. We can see on this aircraft it's had pylons on the fuselage to carry weapons or sensors and it's got underneath it's got four large drop tanks. These look like part of the drop tank arrangement so it can carry more payload. And this this looks like check right in the book which would make sense because this was in the Czech Air Force. Uh, it was also this was also used in the East German Air Force at one time. As you can see it's got Luftwaffe it's got Luftwaffe emblems on it. So it's been in the East German Air Force and then the Czech Air Force has bought it. You can see there on the tail there's a German flag on the tail. And then below it there's the Czech Air Force emblem. And then here this has had a Czech Air Force triangle on it and below it is the Luftwaffe cross. So this has served in two air forces. Hence the Czech on here. And then the Russian right in here. So this is the Sukhoi 22M4. Quite a formidable aircraft. Very feared in its time. I've got a, a large pitot tube here. It looks like a refueling probe, but it isn't. I think that is the refueling probe. Well, that could as well be a pitot tube. And then this has had a reconnaissance camera in the front there. Tar target designator. And then this was a large air intake for the huge turbojet engine. It was also for low speeds. Additional air could be sucked in through the sides here usually when it's on the ground and that is the Sukhoi 22 M4 uh, I'll just show you up in the cockpit area obviously I can't reach up there but I can show you guys I hope that's focusing up for you found there Dave? found a load of blank rounds so obviously they do uh, uh, small arms firing round here uh, as part of an exercise they look like 4.85 I can't see head stamp because I haven't got my glasses and they're not 5.56 five, so five, they're smaller some, somebody with a somebody with good eyes needs to read the head stamp on it yeah they're not 5.56 five, five, no. correct me if I'm wrong viewers but I'm pretty sure they are. Uh, just focus it in on them. One sec. They're so smaller they're, than 5.56. They're smaller than 5.56. They look like 4.85 ammunition to me. Viewers at home, uh, if you know otherwise, please let us know. So we're just moving up to a uh, the final Dassault mystery that we didn't look at earlier 
just going to check this one out this has got four ammunition boxes in front of it you can still see the nose cone arrangement where the landing light used to be just there and down the air intakes so that looks like it had a uh, cannon just here that was the French Air Force Dassault Mystery let's just have a look in the cockpit for you That's made to look like uh, it's just made out of that polycarbonate stuff. Yeah. But it's made to look like a reflector of some sort for a laser. Nice. Smoke grenade. Hmm. So someone's come down here and dropped them. Well, like I say, with them blank rounds and this, it's evidence that they're using it for training. Yeah. You know, so soldiers are on here at, at particular times and we don't know when. No. So, hopefully not now. Hopefully not now. Yeah. Let's get in the tree line. The uh, vehicle, vehicle markings. I think they're from today because it's been raining quite heavy. And they haven't washed in. So I think those vehicle tracks are from today. And it's only about half past seven in the morning. So they've already been down here. I'm Andy from ALW Research Team. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already and you'll receive new videos every Thursday and occasionally Sundays. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Looking over my shoulder Looking back at your door In my head it goes over and over Should I leave or want it more? Looking